Hello, I'm up here at uh, Whistler Mountain on this spectacular ski day because it's just snowing all over the place. Um, and I'm here skiing with my friend Barbara. And you know, this is everyone's dream, or a lot of people's dream, is that after she retired, she actually became a ski instructor. So now she's actually a ski instructor and uh, we're actually skiing on one of her days off. Uh, and it's interesting because when you think about uh, fun, being able to do a fun job, not everyone gets the opportunity to have the fun of being a ski instructor or doing everything they want, but you can still have fun in the workplace. And there's lots of times people will actually say to me, Stephen, if you take harassment out of the workplace, you're taking fun out of the workplace. And I, I know what they're getting at. And the difficulty is when you've got inappropriate things that are said or things that are harassment, that's not fun. And, uh, and you know, so how do you actually deal with it? So, I was asking Barbara, do you recall a, a time in your workplace, your former workplace, where someone was saying something inappropriate that you didn't like? Oh boy, how <laughs> do I ever. This client of mine uh, decided to tell me in graphic detail about her um, sexual problems with her spouse and about his very limp penis. And <laughs> it was rather loud and everyone throughout the office, including the other clients, were able to hear it. So what did you do under that circumstance? I stuffed my hand in her mouth. Well, now you had a bit of a different job, didn't you? What were you doing? In actual fact, I was a dental hygienist, so it wasn't just my whole fist <laughs> that went into her mouth. Okay, so not every one of us is going to get the opportunity to actually shove a fist in someone's mouth when inappropriate things are said. But there are different ways you can deal with it. And as a supervisor, what you need to do is recognize that someone else is sort of saying they don't want to take fun out of the workplace, but, but their concerns about um, actually getting rid of harassment means it'll get rid of fun. So there's a few things that you can do. One is you can just identify, you can say, look, what is fun? What is not fun? Well, hey, look, I don't want to interfere in those things. This is the stuff that we want to get rid of. These are the things that are inappropriate. These are the things that are a problem. That's what you want to deal with. Um, otherwise, you can also just have um, conversations with the staff as a whole. Maybe you can get together and say, look, we want a respectful workplace, but we don't necessarily want the bad stuff. So you talk about it and you decide what's appropriate, what's not. There's lots more examples. If you want to, you can go to my website, stephenhammond.ca, or actually you can go to the human rights training store.com, and in there you can see all kinds of different things that you can use for your workplace, for your staff. Anyways, I hope we have an opportunity to have as fun a job um, as Barbara does here, and uh, if not, just fun in the workplace. Um, enjoy your time, whatever fun you're going to have. Cheers. <laughs>